at it because you can see that they carve their own path. Impala don't look like Sandstorm. They are two totally different players, but both of their styles are so effective that watching them duke it out always ends up being a good time. But here we go into game one. Let's Impala's trying to get that weapon, doing a great job unarmed, and manages to pick up that bow as well. Putting on that pressure with those dash jump fastball nares. Looks like Sandstorm's getting juggled. Oof. I mean, and that's one of the biggest strengths of the bow kit is that juggle. Is the immediate end sig going to take Sandstorm off the top of the map? We saw Small Brawl Haven really come into play in Sandstorm's earlier match today where he was taking people very quickly. But now we're seeing Impala take advantage of the map as well. That close KO box. Oh, here we go. d Air, the tried and true, the Spear Classic. Sandstorm now has the positioning, but Impala sneaks on, but not without a quick swat back to the face to reset the positioning. Sandstorm looking for that final blow. The neutral stick is going to find the mark, and Sandstorm is going to claw his way back into this one, getting the stock count even. What a good option there. Got that forward movement and the vertical KO box Man. with that neutral signature. Now it's over to the scythe, but Impala, again, building up this damage. Nice down stick just right in the face of Impala. Oh, man, Impala's looking good today. I will say, Sandstorm's looking strong as well. These two are really keeping it close, but the way that Impala is succinctly finding these signatures has been immaculate, but Sandstorm has also been pretty pinpoint as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, Taza said it earlier, right? One of these two is going to finally be able to make it out to a Royale. People have been wanting each of them to make it out, but only the winner of this will be a guaranteed invite to the Summer Royale. Okay, and this, oh, there's a lot on the line because of that. Ooh. But Sandstorm with the side sig, I was saying they're both pinpoint today, but Sandstorm doesn't KO, whereas every sig Impala has gone for has been enough. Yeah, I mean, obviously precision is valuable, but power behind that precision, making sure you can get those KOs. But Kaya's defense also probably kind of playing a part in this because Sandstorm has to do a little bit more work to get that knockout. Yeah, and I think it goes to show you as well just how strong Mirage's signature kit is because we've seen Impala live for much, much longer periods of time than that, and Sandstorm has, has been managing to keep it close pretty much every single oh, time. But Impala... Is that 100% accuracy? I feel like it is. If I mean, we, I'm sure we got the stats in the back he to figure miss. that one out. But I like what a whole oh, a whole call out from Impala there to just be like, I'm gonna side sig to the right because I know you're gonna try to dash through me. All of this new dash movement, those dash landings that people are trying to take advantage of. Impala's like, well, it's gonna make you move a little too much. And then gonna call it out with that side stick at the end. Oh man, Foda doing a great job, by the way. <laughs> this is fun to watch. God dang. But here we go, going into the next game in the set here. Impala with a commanding game one. And the thing was, it was relatively close, but Impala was like, your stock's gonna end now, and it just ended. Yeah, I mean, it was very back and forth. Sandstorm would have those burst out moments where he's able to kind of wrestle back. But every single time, it's him playing from a deficit. Now, he's staying much closer to Impala, but Impala's starting to find more momentum. Juggle opportunity. Okay, and Sandstorm, look at the spacing oh, on the kid. Drops the conversion, but picks one up. He's so good at going from a bad spot right back into a good one. Almost gets this edge guard here, but Impala a little tricky with the drift, trying to reverse the scenario. Good dodge from Sandstorm. Gets high over that down sig, and Impala gonna fast fall to avoid oh. the pogo. Narrowly touches the wall. He was sweat beating, Ooh. so he had to drift towards it, but Sandstorm's covering this corner. Oh my gosh, just throwing out all these attacks at the perfect spacing where no Ooh. matter what, Impala's struggling to find the opening to get back onto the stage. And here's a pogo. We might see two of the ground pound. Doesn't commit to it, trying to bait out an option from Impala, but oh, he's just doing hit. such a good job. The fakie toss actually Ooh. being valuable. Nice! He no just Oh! Playing the helicopter game right now. Sir, Impala. this is still first stocks. There's two more on each of them after this, but neither of them wants to give oh up the first God. one. Sandstorm going to find the recovery. He's deep red. Can he get the extra credit? Tell me that that isn't two world champions right there, right? Like, this is world <laughs> champion gameplay. Oh. Impala coming back and responding in tow. Sandstorm not able to get any sort of lead amassed for himself. This is why people want to see these two world champions go head to head. Just the caliber of play, just the way they force these battles and downlight into the neutral light coming out from Impala. 
Oh, Impala, though, doing a great job with this bow. I mean, the neutral airs, the dash jump fast falls, the extended ones off of the chase dodges as well have just been so hard for Sandstorm to deal with, but he still manages to find a way back down to the ground and play Impala where he wants to play. You see him hit that neutral light, doesn't get the read. Impala with the dodge up and away twice now. Sandstorm just trying to hard call out with that raw down light in the middle of the stage. Oh, nice catch with the side light. Still got movement. Okay, is it going to be a down light? No, Impala does an unarmed Sarah back to the Whoa. stage. What cajon is on that one? Impala really wanting to commit a little early. He knows if those six hit, he nice. might have that chance, but Sandstorm gonna get that KO, could put himself on the board here. Okay, if Sandstorm's able to get anything from this, it'll be the first time in this set that someone will actually have a chance to build a bit of a lead, but Impala trying to stop it from getting too large. The gap has been close this entire time, and so far, he's doing a great job. Can he get the final Ooh. blow, though? No, Sandstorm gets the recovery, but gets swatted again, but he's still inching every little bit, but Impala finally shuts it all down. Dude, the way that they're surviving on this map, making small <laughs> Brawl Haven look like big Brawl Haven. Like, they're going from far KO box to the opposite ends of the earth. Oh, man. Sandstorm trying to answer right back here. Impala no needs to bridge the gap. Oh. And the ground pounds. A oh. great way to do it. The down air is not okay. enough. He runs to the other side. He dodges in. No coverage. No chase after the nair, but now Sandstorm is unarmed. He gets back down to the stage, has a scythe in hand. It's the comfort Ooh. weapon. Ah. The other one? Oh my gosh, Kaya defense. Oh. It's not. Oh no, what? You're still alive? Bura! What? Dude, the map just gets bigger for both of them. Sidelight, not going to be enough here. Sandstorm with all the advantage. Nice. And that will do it. Sandstorm going to tie up the set 1 1. That is the way it be. I mean, for a second there, I was like, dang, like I need to play Kaya. What is she surviving <laughs> until? But Sandstorm still able to just. Find those areas to get that extra little hit in to secure the knockout. But man, this has been an electrifying set so far. I gotta take a breath. Yeah, we're, we're only two games into our, our first block. Yeah. <laughs> we're already like, oh my God. Uh-oh. <laughs> we're, we're sprinting at the start of our marathon, but Sandstorm versus Impala could not ask for a better matchup as we go into game number three. Two. All right, and we're still on Brawl Haven, but it feels like it doesn't matter because they've been surviving so long, but they've also been relatively efficient with finding the KOs as well, so it's really hard to say. It's like we're sitting here saying they're surviving so long, but at the same time, we're like, when they want to get rid of each other, they're just gone, you know? The juxtaposition is wild, but that's how they're able to change the tides. Okay, now we're into game number three. So nice. far, Sandstorm. Finding a lot more hits onto Impala. Just a couple more neutral wins. Impala not finding that same bow momentum that he had in game one and two. Yeah, and I think we can see it here, right? Like, the game plan for Impala is to be right where he is right now. He wants to get these nares. He wants to juggle Sandstorm. He wants that scythe directly above with no angle so that down air is not a threat. Ooh. On the other side, though, Sandstorm wants Impala off stage. No. But he's getting that weapon advantage over Impala. Now he's got the scythe. This is the tool to force somebody off stage. Impala in a dangerous Ooh. spot. Ooh. Playing with fire there, buddy. Yeah, that recovery Ooh. tipped a little high. He's getting around all these KO options from Sandstorm. It's getting red hot, but yeah. Impala is staying ever vigilant here. Has heat resistance. Trying to find a way to get through on Sandstorm with no weapon. But Sandstorm can't find the final blow. Look oh. at where he's standing right in the no man's land. But Sandstorm presses the button that covers that exact position. You can only dodge around for so long. Now Sandstorm in a good position to get some extra credit here on the second stock of Impala. Impala. Using that weapon dodge, trying to open up Sandstorm, but Sandstorm is finding more wins. Oh, here we go. Impala tries to drift through, but Sandstorm presses the neutral attack just fast enough to catch Impala on the switch. Okay, he's going back over Woo! to the bow. Oh, Beats no out punish. the sig, but he misses the punish. Oh. The end sig will finally KO, but this is the biggest lead either of, the, uh, either of them have had in this set. Yeah, this... This is definitely Ooh. the case here. I mean, Sandstorm looking to make that lead even bigger here. If he can get this edge guard, it will be the first time that Impala will really have to think about how to surmount the comeback and not just keeping things close. Okay, Sandstorm now on the edge. Impala nice. lets him back Ooh. up a little bit. That Nair helps him get back down onto the stage, and now he's got the Scythe. 
Good Sarah from Impala. Do you go for the ground pound here? Oh, he was thinking about it, but Sandstorm goes on stage a little bit earlier than Impala was expecting. But with that Boom. said, Sandstorm just let it rip. The Beyblade has blown ship. And now Impala with almost a full stock deficit against Sandstorm. And Sandstorm, his pick of sights right now. Starting to read these dodges coming out from Impala. You're seeing Sandstorm start to go high. Okay, now here's the question because Impala is the new world champion. Sandstorm's done it a cute couple times before. And so it's like, do you have the stamina now to keep playing at this pace? This is someone who's really going to challenge your ability to play the game, but they've done it before. I mean, it's a really close set history, but Sandstorm trying to widen the gap. I mean, a win here oh. would tie up the oh, set he count. Missed. He misses the dare. A rare miss. He still gets the wall touch, though, Impala. Ah! Thought he was going to go to the outside. Oh, That's no. a burn recovery. He's still got the wall touch. He'll survive, but this stock <gasps> is bleeding out. He's throwing everything at him, bro. The whole arsenal, the entire oh, utility belt. He dodges that, that dodge. He is godlike. No, Sarah? Unarmed. Oh, no, no punish. Sir, that was a burn dodge from Sandstorm. But at this point, I mean, this is his final stock. Sandstorm's big chillin'. This game is pretty much won. I mean, Ooh. with this much damage, even if Impala gets a stock here, he has to be a literal legend. And Sandstorm goes ahead and tucks that one. Says, whew, man, you were really working that last stock, but uh, you needed to play like that the stock before. Oh, man. Sandstorm up 2-1. He's one game away from his invite to the Summer Royale and a guaranteed top three finish here at the Summer Championship. And the tough part about this too is that Impala had this moment where Sandstorm was kind of camping the side of the stage a little bit. And Impala didn't really want to go off stage. He doesn't like being there. He wants to juggle Sandstorm in the middle. And when Sandstorm finally came back on stage, Impala immediately went for the D-Light because he had been so starved of being in the proper position for so long. And immediately Sandstorm stuffed it out and he never got a chance to set up that game plan again. We'll see if he can get his game plan this time as we go back to Small Brawl Haven for one more game. Impala versus Sandstorm. Impala, once again, trying to get those juggles. He wants to get Sandstorm vertical. Okay, and I'm wondering if maybe the plan is Oof. use that spear a little bit more. I think Impala was heavily nice. on the bow and switching over to the spear is the exact kind of momentum that he needs because part of Brawlhalla is keeping your opponent on their toes. You want to be swapping your weapons so they can't get too used to your play style. Big agree. He played a lot of bow in that last game. And all those, on the other side, right, we saw the damage numbers. Sandstorm put out like almost 500 on his scythe versus like 89 on his spear. So they both were leaning into the non-spear weapon. And it makes sense to me because there's a certain amount where it's like you don't want to give them too much time to adapt to your game nice. plan. So always keeping things fresh is a great way to go. And we see Impala give a very commanding response to the way that last game ended. He found the adjustments. He was like, all right, I'm going to play a little bit of spear and was able to get a stock. And now he's going to whip the bow out again and see if it works. But now he needs to get that extra credit and Sandstorm's not giving him Woo! any chance to. Good dodge from Impala avoids that GC nice! downline. The wake up from Impala keeps the pressure on. Oh, but he misses the dare, and Sandstorm's going to catch him with the down sig. Yeah, and that one's a little bit tough because Impala did make the right decision. It was a swing moment right there, and you can't lose out on position when you have so much damage. You can't miss. I mean, at the very least, you got to make Sandstorm think about throwing out those oh down sigs and not just throw them out as safely. Good pogo from Impala, but he backs away. It's like you said, he doesn't want to play those edge guards. This is so tough. Impala's doing such a great oh, job of trying to get in on Sandstorm, but Sandstorm keep keeping him in the corner. Impala doesn't want to play from here, but there's so much pressure exuded by Sandstorm that it feels like you never get a chance to get to center stage. Nice D-Light actually puts oh, him over the sig. Spacing. Oh, he didn't dodge. Wait, there's the dodge that time. Impala wasn't ready for it. Oh, he's, he's getting good hits. Can he get the KO? Oh my god, the level of mix here is oh, insane. And he gets he through that through. exact same mix up again. Sandstorm tried that in the previous game, and Impala had the dodge perfect. Oh, Sandstorm sitting on the corner, Impala just a little oh, too burning low. out, brother. Running out of exclamation nice! points, but he gets up with the recovery. Oh, and I know Impala wanted Red that to him. KO. That was you were saving that one in the pocket, so that one has to hurt a bit, but somehow Mirage is surviving. Oh! Down light and air, though. Impala catches him just narrowly with the tip of that arrow. And now Impala going to stick with the bow. Can he get the extra credit? Can he get this to game Woo! five? He's got to do it cleanly. And that's the thing, right? Like, Impala may be getting a little bit too comfortable waking up on Sandstorm. Sandstorm, Sandstorm like, bro, I saw that like two seconds ago. You got me with it. I was surprised. Let's not do that right now. He's like, stay asleep for a little bit. Yeah. 
Oh. And Paula, don't give up that, that right? center stage, bro. And that's the position. Ooh. You need to juggle him. He's avoiding the down six, though, from Sandstorm. Sandstorm's not getting away with those. Oh. Ooh, two neutral lights. Nice. Avoids the weapon toss. All right, trying to set up the juggle. Here it is. He's been waiting for the scenario the entire time, but Sandstorm immediately gets back down to the ground, but Impala able to reset it, Yo. get some positioning. Those down dash six. landings from Impala. Getting him some big oh, positioning. Down six. Sandstorm lands right inside of it, gets down with that down light. The clash out. Uh-oh. You Impala. can't get reversal here. No dodge. That's a burn dodge. Oh, he like touched he the said. wall. Chilling. Oh. oh, he burns it again. Sandstorm Taking his time. He's scared. Oh. And Sandstorm with the read. Gets him right by the neck and yeets him into the KO box. That's going to be Sandstorm going up 3-1 over Impala in what looked like it was sure to go to game five. It was so close to being a game five.